Greetings fellow guitar players, my name is Jack Jennings. In this video we're looking at a clip from the Indian Classical Guitar Academy where I do groups on Zoom and we go through all the details of Indian Classical music and how to apply it to the guitar. We're just looking at Rag Yaman and a particular composition and the way that you improvise and time your phrases to work within the 16 beat rhythm cycle of Tim Tao and always come back to the composition at the right point. So it's a way of improvising in a way that's very structured and enables you to have a lot of clarity in how long you have to improvise and just the different methods that you can use to make sure improvising comes out in a very secure and Indian classical way. So I hope you guys enjoy watching this. There's just one or two spaces left in these groups. They're proving to be really effective to help the students to get some feedback and really tighten up their playing and expand into the style so just get in touch if you'd like to join one of these groups and thanks very much for watching I'll see you again Actually, I'm using like beats um, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if it's like one chick, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mi re re ga re ga chick. So if you just play to sa. reminding yourself where's the real kind of end point of each idea. That was good. I just feel like my playing is kind of flat. Like it doesn't, I don't feel like I'm, I think this is what I'm saying, like versus the last one that we did, or versus, mm -hmm. it was like Caffeine and Yaman mixed up. This is Yaman, right? Yes, it's Yaman. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, I just feel like when I'm doing the improv with this, I just feel like I'm like playing random notes, you know, like I don't feel like I'm like, getting into it. Yeah, you're not sort of fully in the rag feel yet. So what you need to do is get into that feel of skipping sa and then using it on your return. Um, so like I was talking about that kind of suspended feeling. So this kind of... And this ga is important. Ni re ga. So instead of playing ni sa re, you should be playing... So that that's yeah that that's much more characteristic. Um, so so skip sa on the way up and use it on the way down. See, ni re ga, 
part is just very, very yaman. Um, I played ma ga re ga re sa because then you can get a, a more of a symmetrical sequence moving down. You know, ma ga re. But um, I just paused actually. So ma ga re ga re sa ni re re ga. For example, um, that phrase. So that these are very Yaman phrases. So I went. I did my ma bar again. Yeah. So once we've got used to this, you know, sixes, um, you know, improvising for six beats, the next thing would be to improvise for a full sixteen. Then you'd really be thinking more of your eight beats to start from the sum. So for I'll, I'll just show you. So um, so imagine I'm improvising. This is beat one. So imagine I'm improvising. And then when I get to beat one, I'm going to think of eight beats. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, so I can improvise for a whole cycle. And when it gets to beat one, and I'm going to be a bit more careful. If you know the this is the kind of Alan Carr. Then you can start to put in those longer lines. just comes from knowing the you know the ascent and the descent and just flowing around um, but just keeping one one part of my mind is just kind of being aware of the type of the timing where I am in the cycle and the other part of me is just sort of moving through the ascending and descending um, and then I'm just kind of roughly just trying to like make them meet at some point I mean, I'm not I'm not calculating it I, I I, I can just hear and sense where I am in, in the cycle, but it, it develops as you get good at doing these short ones, then you can you can then go into long improvisation, um, but you just start to switch your mind from the long form to the short form. So the, the, the short form is where you're being more aware of the number of beats and you're thinking about where's this gonna end. Yeah, so so the this these short ones that we're doing only six beats that that's getting you into that frame of mind, um, and then you can kind of launch into long form, but then you end it with short form. Does that make sense? Yeah, because um, otherwise you're in long form and then you you'll never know where you are or what to do, where where to come back unless you change into that short form where it's more targeted. Mm -hmm. 